Hello students, my name is Niyati Seth and thanks for watching Edupedia Word videos. My topic for the presentation are the photoreceptors. In this section of presentation, we'll be studying that retina is the innermost layer of the eye, which I have already taught you. But it contains a layer of photoreceptor cells. And photoreceptor cells are of two types. First is your rods and second is cones. So two type of photoreceptor cells are found in retina. The photoreceptor cells are of two types. That is rods and cones. They contain light sensitive proteins termed as photopigments. Cones, they are responsible for daylight vision, whereas uh, rods, they function in dim light. Okay, and cones, they are responsible for color vision. And uh, first of all, we'll be studying rods in detail and thereafter we'll study cones. So come to rods now. Rods, they contain a pigment called rhodopsin. Okay. Rhodopsin is a purple red color protein. Rhodopsin is also known as visual purple. It is present in the rods. Okay. In, it is present in the rod cell. Okay. And which is a derivative of vitamin A. Okay. So, uh, this, uh, these rods, they contain a pigment called rhodopsin that is sensitive to dim light. That is, when we see uh, anything in dim light, then rods are responsible for it. Okay. Thus, this pigment is necessary for night vision. And that night vision is known as scotopic vision. Okay. That dim light or twilight name is scotopic vision. Okay, whereas the light or the daylight vision is known as photopic. So rods, they are the uh, pigments or you can say they are the cells that are responsible for uh, dim vision. Okay, and the purple red color protein known as rhodopsin, it is synthesized with the help of vitamin A. So you can say that rhodopsin is a vitamin A derivative. In rods, the vesicles are numerous and they are surrounded by an outer membrane. Okay. And the pigmented region is cylindrical in shape. But rods, uh, unlike uh, cone cells, they have no ability to detect the cell. And please note that rod cells, they are more numerous, some uh, around 120 million and are more sensitive than the cones. However, they are not sensitive to color. That means they cannot detect the colors of an object. Whereas uh, around 6 to 7 million cones, they provide the eye color sensitivity and they are much more concentrated in the central yellow spot uh, known as macula, which I have already taught you when I taught you the structure of eye. Okay. So rods, they have no ability to detect color they, and uh, they are responsible for the night vision. Okay. This is the structure of rod. Okay. Uh, in this, uh, this is the outer segment. This is the inner segment. And uh, this is the membrane. This is the nucleus of the rod cells. And these are the synaptic body through which uh, another rod is attached to. Okay. So this is the outer segment. And these uh, are the shelf lined with the rhodopsin or the color pigments. Okay. That means these are the shelves or the chambers which are lined with the rhodopsin uh, pigment. Rhodopsin. What is rhodopsin? Rhodopsin is a, uh, you can say that uh, they are the vitamin A derivatives. Okay. Rods, they are incredibly uh, efficient photoreceptors, more than 1000 times as sensitive as cone cells. Uh, 
they can be reportedly be triggered by individual photons under optimal condition and please note that the rod sensitivity is shifted towards shorter wavelength compared to daylight vision which accounts for the growing apparent brightness of green leaves in twilight okay so these are the mitochondria that provides energy for rod cells which are uh, situated in the inner segment of the rod cells this is the nucleus or you can say the brain of the rod cells okay and this is the synaptic body through which another rod cells they are attached to okay now see this is the membranous disc with the rhodopsin that means this is the outer segment okay this from here to here this is the outer segment and it contains a disc with rhodopsin pigment okay the one which we saw here that these shells are lined with rhodopsin or the color pigment so this is the outer segment and they are disc shaped with the rhodopsin in it okay and this is the inner segment from here to here uh, which has ciliary bodies which i have already taught you in the structure of eye so please refer to that presentation and this is cell body this is the nucleus or the brain of the rod cells these are the trans transmitter vesicles uh, through which uh, you can say neurotransmitters they travel from one rod cells to another rod cells and these are the synaptic endings okay so this is the structure of the rod cell and uh, we'll see the mechanism of vision by rod cell that uh, when the light ray or the photon strikes here then the retinal and opsin these are the two proteins you can say which uh, together forms a rhodopsin rhodopsin is a vitamin a derivative through which we can see in the dim light and uh, so they undergo conformational changes and they change in membrane permeability and through which action potential is generated and through which our brain can interpret images in the erect form because in the retina uh inverted image is formed but our brain make us see an erect image so that is uh, done by uh, the rod cells that how uh, their action potential is generated and how they transmit to the brain okay uh, and uh, brain to the specific part that is occipital lobe which is responsible for the vision okay so now vision of light through eyes see what happens is vitamin a it converts to cis retinal okay that means vitamin a gets converted into cis retinal and that cis retinal it interacts with opsin protein which is present in rod cell now what happens is when the light hits cis retinal in rod cell cis retinal in rhodopsin converts to trans retinal that means vitamin a gets converted into cis retinal and cis retinal gets converted into trans retinal and now this trans retinal it causes protein to change shape to bath rhodopsin okay and these bath rhodopsin several steps of cascade of charges changes takes place in nerve cell and then nerve impulse is carried to brain so this is how we see anything in dim light or twilight okay what happens i am just summarizing it that vitamin a it get converted into cis retinal then cis retinal gets converted into trans retinal and trans retinal it causes protein to change shape to bath rhodopsin and this bath rhodopsin it uh, changes uh, it causes a cascade of changes in the nerve cell and which causes uh, action potential and then nerve impulse is carried to the brain and through which we are able to see in twilight or dim light okay that's because of rod cells now come to cones now cones uh, you can say the photosensitive pigment in cones is of three types first is 
pyrosin and second is idopsin and third is synopsin which give response to red green and blue light respectively the protein in cone cells is called as photopsin okay and various combination of these cones and their photopigments produce sensation of different colors and please note that cones they are found in, uh, in this region uh, they are highly uh, you can say highly populated in this region cone okay so cone they contain a pigment called iodopsin that is sensitive only to bright light and that's the reason we are able to see any object in bright light very clearly you can say so that's all because of cones so the cones they are sensitive to colors not all animals they are able to distinguish colors human beings apes monkey birds lizards turtle and some fishes they are only animals that are able to distinguish colors well most of the domestic animals they are color blind in cones the the vesicles containing the pigments they are very fewer and they are formed by outer membrane itself as i have told you that cones are of three types first which is sensitive to uh, blue color and second which is sensitive to green color and third which is sensitive for uh, red color okay so cones are of three types uh, and they are porpyrosin second is idopsin and third is synopsin which give response to red blue and green color respectively okay this is the diagram of the cone cells this is the outer segment this is the inner segment this is the nucleus or the brain of the cone cells these are the synaptic terminal that form the synapse with the neuron okay these are the mitochondria that provide power which are considered as power house of the cell and it provides energy to the cone cells these are the membranous dish shapes where photopigments exist as transmembrane protein so these are the invaginations of uh, cell membrane you can say and that forms a stack of uh, a stack or bunch of uh, membranous disc as you can see and uh, where photopigments they exist as transmembrane protein and these are the connective ciliums um, which connects the outer segment to the inner segment okay now we'll see the mechanism of vision how we see or what's the chemistry behind the vision so the light rays in the visible wavelength from the object it passes through the cornea okay it first passes through the cornea and the lens these are focused on the retina of the eyes the rods and the cones they contain photopigments which are conjugated proteins they are composed of opsin which is a protein and a retinal which is an aldehyde of vitamin a so what happens is when the light in the uh, light is focused then it light induces a dissociation of retinal from opsin that results in the changes uh, that result in the change of the structure of opsin and this causes the change in the permeability of retinal cells and it generates action potential which is carried out by bipolar cells and ganglion cells these cells and this cells okay and further conducted by optical nerve see optical uh, behind uh, cones and rods there is a uh, optical nerve which is carried out by Uh, optical nerve and then it is carried to the visual cortex area of the brain where the neural impulses are analyzed and the image formed on the retina is recognized and that's the reason we see any object in the erect form 
okay so this is how it takes place when the light in the visible wavelength focused on retina through the cornea that means a uh, light it comes through cornea and then it is focused on retina and then it uh, generates uh, potential or the nerve impulses in rod and cone see these are the rods and cones these are the bipolar cells these are the amacrine cells and these are the ganglionic cells which uh, are also known as optical nerve so when the light is focused what happens is uh, that the rods and cones see these rods and cones they contain photopigments which are conjugated proteins they are composed of opsin and retinal this light which is focused it induces dissociation of retinal from opsin and that results in the change of the structure of opsin and this causes the change in the permeability of the retinal cells and it generates action potential which is carried by bipolar cells and optic cells and then it is carried to the visual cortex region of the brain where the neural impulses are analyzed and image formed on the retina is recognized okay so this is how it takes place that light induces dissociation of retinal from opsin okay what is retinal retinal is an aldehyde of uh, vitamin a and opsin is a protein okay so the light induces dissociation of the retinal from opsin that results in the change in the structure of opsin and this causes membrane permeability changes as a result potential difference are generated in the photoreceptor cells and this produces a signal that generates action potential in the ganglion cell through bipolar or optic nerve cells see this is how it takes place first the object light from the object it goes through cornea see this is the cornea through lens and then it is focused on the retina but inverted image is formed of an object okay so action potential takes place which are transmitted by the optical nerve to the visual cortex area of the brain and where the nervous impulses are analyzed and image is formed on retina is recognized based on the earlier memory and experience okay so this was all about rods and cones which are the photoreceptor cells and mechanism or chemistry of vision so uh, this was all about and keep watching edupedia word videos in my next section of the presentation we'll be studying about the structure of ear thank you